Okay, so hey guys, this is going to be a review for my Lola's Virgin Indian Curly Hair. And this is the hair. It looks totally different from how it looked when I first did my initial review. I did get the hair cut and also there are some layers in it. And I did also flat iron this hair. So now the curls are a bit looser than what they started out as but so far I'm really loving this curly hair I'm not really one for curly hair so I really wanted to just you know dip back in the curly hair pool again and I really like this curly hair I haven't had any issues with tangling or shedding or anything like that and it's crazy like when you don't have those problems like when you go back to like think does it tangle or shed it's like oh I haven't even realized that this hair doesn't tangle or shed, so I haven't had any issues with that at all. When I went to Houston, I slept in this wig. We were there for, what, Friday? No, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday. We were there for like three nights, and I didn't have any issue with the hair. I slept on it wonderfully. I woke up, brushed it out. Like, one day, I brushed all the hair out, and I tried to wash it, and I just used the conditioner that was in the hotel room and it made the hair really soft and smell really good so I didn't have any issue with um, using a off brand or whatever brand that was conditioner because I don't even know what it was but yeah so um yeah the hair is still great um I'm going to show you the products that I use on the hair I initially when I got the hair I was sent the Lola's hair hair products and I used that the first time that I washed and conditioned the hair but now I really just use what I have already and to shampoo the hair which I rarely do I think I've only washed this hair like twice with shampoo and I use the Moroccan Argan Cream Shampoo from Organics I really really love this I love the way it smells and it's just a really nice shampoo and a conditioner but I didn't use the conditioner on this hair I just used the shampoo but this is what the shampoo looks like if you want to purchase it for yourself. So I really like that as far as conditioners because I mainly co-wash this hair. I use both of these. It just not together, but some days I use this one, some days I use this one. And this is the Suave Humectant Moisture Conditioner. And then this is a Suave Sleek Conditioner. So I like them both. They both work really really well they make the hair really soft and yeah so they're about empty now but I really love these two for the hair as far as product for the hair you guys know I just don't put any products on any of my hair but as far as curly hair like there's a lot of products you can use if you want to like define your curls control the frizz and things like that if I do put anything in the hair it'll be like a teeny teeny bit and it's rare like really rare so since I've had this hair and I've used this like twice or three times. And this is the Organics Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. And this will probably be the only product ever that I use on curly hair just because this really leaves no residue. It doesn't make the hair hard or crunch or anything like that. It does just what it says it does. It defines the curls and it leaves it super soft and just gorgeous. So... I've used this on the hair, love it, just like I loved it on any of my other curly hair. So, if you have curly hair, I would definitely, definitely suggest this cream. So, yeah, and it's not even really like a cream. It's kind of like a gel form. Like, when you rub it in your hands, it's kind of jelly-like. So, I really, really love this stuff. I only put it on the hair when it's damp. And, yeah, love, love, love this stuff. So, as far as products, that's the only thing I've put in this hair. Now, to achieve the look that I have, because this is somewhat of the natural curl and then it's not, I use the Cortex 4-in-1 Curling Wand and I use the smallest wand. I don't even know what size this is, but it's the smallest one that comes. And I just use this for the top. Um, I'll just take random sections and I wand it, like I wand it like, just the top and then I went in and did like separate pieces wherever I felt needed a little extra definition now I showed how I do this in my Houston vlog so if you're interested in seeing me do it in action you can just watch the vlog because it's in there 
The hair is gorgeous. It did come like a natural brown color. It was like a number two. I dyed it black and I used the Revlon Color Silk hair dye. I get a lot of questions on what black hair dye I use. That's the only one that I've used on extensions, period. Like, that's the only one because it works really well. It makes the hair smell really good, and I have never had an issue with it. And it's very inexpensive, and since I get a lot of hair and dye a lot of hair, it's really, really nice. So that's the only one I've used, and that's what I used on this hair. So, yeah, this is what the hair looks like. This is like five-day-old curls because... What the last video I made was five days ago, and that was when I washed the wig, so it was wet. And yeah, so this is like five day old curls. It's really frizzy right now, like some pieces are really frizzy, but it's five day old curls. So, I mean, it's hold up really good, it holds a curl really well. These are five day old wand curls, and as you can see, they're still pretty defined. So, curling this hair, it holds curls amazingly. It's just a really nice texture. I really like it more now that it's a little looser because I'm not really one for like super tight curly hair. Like I always want to try it and then I'm like, ooh, I don't know if that's for me, but I'm comfortable now. Like I really like how the hair has evolved. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about cutting it a little shorter, like a little short like this. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? So... Yeah, this is what the hair looks like from the side. From the back. Other side. And I do have a closure. The closure blends in with my scalp perfectly. I did bleach the knots on the closure. The knots bleached really easily on this closure. Um, I get a lot of questions on how I bleach the knots on my closure and how it always ends up like perfect. But it doesn't always end up perfect all the time. It honestly depends on the closure. Like some closures, the knots will bleach like really easy and really fast and you won't have an issue with it. Sometimes you get a closure and the knots won't bleach at all. Like it takes a really long time and sometimes it won't even get really light. It'll just go to that orange stage. So it just totally depends. Luckily, I try to stick with brands that I know make closures that are easy for me to bleach so yeah just stick with what works for me so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions just let me know I will put all of Lola's hair information in the info section yeah this is it and I will see you guys in my next video bye <music>